Wednesday, November 4, 2020, the Ministry of Health received confirmation of eight new cases of COVID-19. This brings the total number of cases diagnosed in country to date to 105. The new cases now bring the number of active cases currently in country to 73. All cases remain stable and there are no cases requiring critical care. Case number 98 is a 43-year-old female from the Miku district. Case number 99 is a 36-year-old female from the Sufra district. Case number 100 is a 45-year-old male from the Babano district. Case number 101 is a 4-year-old female from the Vufort district. Case number 102 is a 4-year-old female from the Vufort district. Case number 103 is a 54-year-old female from the Labri district. Case number 104 is a 55-year-old female from the Labri district. Case number 105 is a 50-year-old male from the Grosile district. All of the cases following testing for COVID-19 were placed in quarantine awaiting their test results. Four of these cases were identified through the contact tracing process and epidemiological links have been established for three cases. Case number 98 is linked to case number 55, number 77 and number 92. Case number 101 and 102 are linked to case number 68. Case number 103 and 104 were identified through the community outreach activity undertaken in library. Dr. Sharon Belmar-George is urging all nationals to not only practice good hygiene, but also healthy living. As we continue to record new cases of COVID-19 in country, it is important that we all make a special effort to keep ourselves well. Be sure to eat a balanced meal, which are low in salt, fat, and added sugars. Make time for physical activity daily. This can include a walk, swimming, or even backyard gardening. Remain hydrated by drinking water throughout the day. These daily health habits will help to build the body's ability to fight off infectious illnesses. If you are living with a chronic condition, these guidelines also apply to help keeping you in control and to keep you healthy. With that, we also encourage you to take any prescription medication as prescribed. Do not skip doses and ensure there is always a month's supply to ensure you do not run out of medication. We ask that while we intensify our response, that we all continue to practice the guidelines to reduce the exposure to the virus.